All right, guys, we're in the 135. We're gonna take it up behind the parlor here, and then I'll go and hook the 140 from the chopper. Bring that up here too, and we're gonna change the oil in them. All right, letting her run for a little bit to warm up, then we'll drain that oil. All right, filters for the 135, and then my uncle's coming up with the 140, so I'll filter for that. Damn, who put that in there? There it goes. Me, I'm probably the one who put that in there. All right, see how much we can spill on our fingers here. Oh yeah. That's some warm oil. Should have grabbed a towel to set this on. Sorry, 135, I made a mess. Alright. Filters open up. We'll just have to add oil. 22 quarts is what the 135 here takes. Add oil and then uh, write down how many hours are on here and when we changed it. So see how much we get on a hand. All right. Went for the no glove combo. I like it real dangerously. Gosh, it's gotta go. It's gotta go any moment now. Oh man, uh, you know, I've had That's worse. That's not too I've bad. I've had worse. Here we go. Probably don't even feel any of those bumps from the chisel plow in that thing. <laughs> the seat's not even moving in there. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't have my GoPro. Just trying to get stuff done here, but we went over to a farm that we rent and we're gonna disc it. My uncle's coming over with the soil finisher. He's gonna start on the bottom down there. I'm going up here on top. And I'm just gonna disc this. He's gonna soil finish that and then we're gonna head back home. Hopefully get some of the bottoms done. But there's a one lane road on the road over here and they're doing some, looks like underground electrical work or something. And man, it was a tight fit. <laughs> I was worried I was about to take out some of those cones with the disc and then I'm going to, on the bridge, there's a bridge. They, gosh, it was, it was tight and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous, but I just took it easy and had a lot, nice lineup of cars behind me, sorry, but 
It is what it is. But we're gonna get this field dished up and then we're gonna head on home. So get some videos just from in the cab here of me disking. So enjoy. All right, guys, my uncle made it. Said he rubbed a few cones on the way by, but he made it. We're out here disking. I'm not putting it like deep at all, just literally like coasting on top. Don't want to dig in too much. We're using a disc for our seed bread, seed bed prep, which is not ideal, but it's what we got. And that soil finisher all by itself, that'd take way too long. Uh, so using the disc as a soil finisher, kind of not ideal. But it ain't doing too bad of a job. But obviously not the best thing in the world. And it's very dry. But I would really appreciate it if the weather said, okay, we'll just wait on the rain tomorrow and then we can get everything done tomorrow. So that'd be fantastic. All right, guys, got all this done. I mean, it doesn't do the best job, but it's, it's done. Michael's over there. I don't think you can see him. Maybe, I don't know, hard to tell. But we're gonna head home now and uh, start working on the bottoms. All right guys, we made it back home and my uncle should be back shortly and he's gonna do that corner bottom piece. I'm doing the big middle one. It is dusty. But made it through there and we're back. So do these bottoms. Well, I'm glad when I turned around, I saw this fence post sticking out of the freaking ground. I'm gonna go get that. All right, we're doing the outside rounds of this big field here. Uncle's over there doing that bottom piece. I'm gonna try to do the other one there and then uh, we're gonna have to start chores, so. Go from there. guys last pass and then I gotta go in and start chores uncle's about done with the field down there I think he just has like a couple of rounds around the outside then he'll be done down there so yep all right guys stopped and did chores did this field I had to do it twice just because it didn't work out very good the first time the other fields have worked out pretty nice the first time but this one did not so I ended up doing it again and it looks a lot better. My uncle's up there on the hill in the strips and I'll be going to the one right under him here next. All right guys, sorry for the same view every time. I just don't have my GoPro, sadly. It's not charged anyway and I just didn't have time with everything you know so doing these uh, strips twice did that one up there twice this is the second time on this one my last pass here in the middle and then uh, one more strip down there and yeah then we'll do that one twice and we'll call it good uh, for today all right guys so I just got one more down and back and then we're done did these three strips back here twice and then I did a bigger one in there twice as well just the bottom worked up really good with the disc just once but these fields back here didn't work up as nice so yeah we're almost done ready to be in looks like we're definitely going to be getting some rain tomorrow i just guess we'll see how much it is you know so yeah we'll get these two passes done and we'll be heading in there thanks for uh riding along at least Sorry, again, only the same clips over and over from the tractor and the disc, so my bad. All right, let's get this baby folded up. your seating looking good it's ready to get cut but 
weather's not looking too promising for that. We just really hope we can get this stuff in, or the corn in tomorrow, so. But looking at the weather, looks like we're probably gonna get some rain and not be able to get it planted, so. But at least we got a good head start on field work before the planter, so.